Here we are between an existing window and the sliding glass door where we put the bullnose trim. I'm going to zoom this in and I want you to take a look at something. We're going to end up floating this and when we get all done, we're going to keep the wall in a smooth finish. You see all these ripples in here now, this is a spray texture. Well that's going to go all away, but I'm going to refinish the entire wall which means uh, the little inside edge to the left that returns to the existing window, that's got spray texture on there too. I'm going to have to skim that out. But see the rounded edge to the left of the wall? Well, the left, left hand edge of the wall? That has spray texture on it. So I'm not sure. Do you have any ideas how we're going to make that smooth? I don't really want to sand all that stuff off because that's going to take forever. And I don't want to leave it on that corner bead. That's some uh, white bullnose trim that's been spray textured over and also painted over. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that because we need to get that smooth. Here's a little closer shot of that. See the spray texture all the way around the bullnose trim? We're going to do this the old fashioned way. We'll take a little putty knife, make sure you got a sharp edge on it, and we're going to scrape this off. It's plastic, we're just going to scrape this right off. Then we're going to have a nice smooth bull nose trim that matches everything else. When we get all done, it's going to look really nice. It's going to be like, how'd they do that? Well, just keep scraping it. You want to go over just a little so that you know where it ends. Because once we float this over, this is going to be nice and smooth. This edge is going to be nice and smooth. This edge is going to be nice and smooth. I'm going to have to uh, skim this out with some sheetrock mud to make that smooth. 